Well, the strong winds had a devastating effect on the Carillon Tree of Light this morning. The mast is toppled, the cables tangled together. This video comes to us from our friends at the Moody View who put up their drone this morning to get a good look at the damage, and it is intense. The Tree of Light was lit for the first time December 1st, so less than two weeks ago. And Dayton history, though, is promising it will shine again. Two News reporter Kelly King has the damage and Kelly, when we can expect to see it shine again. Katie, the damage out here, pretty incredible. In fact, people have been stopping by all today just to see the number that Mother Nature did on the Carillon Tree of Light. Now, I just got an update moments ago from Brady Crest, president and CEO of Dayton History. He tells me the fabrication, the repair process, it's just going to take too long. So the Carillon Tree of Light is coming down for the season, but it will be back up next year. Our tree of light took a, took a beating. Once lighting up downtown, Carillon Park's tree of light is dark. The tree was no match for Monday morning's strong wind gust. There is a, there's a central mast, and, and the entire configuration of, of lights is set up like a like a, a, a tent. Strands of light now hang, and bulbs scattered on the ground. Ned Clark was just at the Carillon Saturday. Brought the uh, the grandkids out here. And my son, and to see the beautiful Christmas tree lighting here that everybody's been talking about. Clark was an iron worker for 41 years and has worked on several towers. He I says when he brought his family out, he had concerns. Cables. Didn't seem to have enough main guy cables. I was a little concerned about that. But Dayton history officials say the tree was safe. The, the, the safety lines are, are up and nothing fell off the Carillon. So, 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 that's, so it wasn't a, a safety issue. Officials with Carillon Park say while the warmer temperatures have brought out a lot of people to the park, Mother Nature's blustery winds put a damper on Christmas. It's been good uh, <laughs> until you get to 60 mile an hour uh, wind gusts and, and uh, we, we, had, uh, we had a problem. So we'll, uh, you know, things happen, we'll, we'll, we'll fix it and move forward. Now, history officials say the Christmas concerts will continue with the Carillon Tree of Light lit by floodlights. However, all of those bulbs and wires are coming down. A crane will be out here tomorrow to begin that repair process. Reporting live at Carillon Park, Kelly King, 5 on 2.